Okay, I'm gonna show you two exercises in one video. This is going to be both the psoas foam roll and the psoas stretch. The psoas muscle is a hip flexor muscle. It's right in the front. And it's one of the only muscles in the human body that attaches to an intervertebral disc. So that muscle is super vulnerable, especially if you have disc problems. In addition to that, if you sit a lot, again, as I've described in other videos, sitting makes those, uh, those hip flexor muscles, specifically the psoas muscle, super, super tight. And so both of these exercises, the foam rolling and the stretch, are designed to help to loosen up that psoas muscle. Now, sometimes I will tell you and I'll indicate on the form on your prescription sheet which side you should focus more on, maybe the right side or the left side. I'm going to demonstrate how to do it on the left side and I'm gonna stretch and foam roll both the left side. So I'm gonna show you now. If you have the foam roll, all you do is place your foam roll down. You lay on top of the foam roll, starting with it on the top part of your leg right about here. Put a little bit of weight on that foam roll and then all you do is kind of slide back and forth so it foam rolls your psoas or your hip flexor muscle. Now the hip flexor attaches up to your hip bone and it goes a little bit down toward your thigh. So when you're doing the foam roll, make sure that you can have the foam roll, the roll go from your hip all the way down to your leg. Now you can play around with this one a little bit. You don't want to put all of your weight on this foam roll because that can really hurt. I want you to be a little bit more on the cautious or gentle side when it comes to foam rolling your psoas muscle because if you put too much weight, you can really injure it. Do yourself a favor, you may see other videos out there that have a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball or a softball or something much harder and smaller and, and condensed doing the foam, uh, uh, doing the rolling on the psoas muscle. Do yourself a favor and don't do that. You can really injure yourself if you do. Uh, keep it, stick with the foam roll. It'll be much more safe and it will actually get the job done just fine. So if you also have the, uh, the psoas stretch, what you're gonna do is basically a lunge. So if you're stretching the left side, the left psoas, you're gonna go into a lunge to where the side that you're stretching is down on the ground. So you're kneeling down on the ground. Your other foot is, is stretched out forward on the ground. And all you're really doing is leaning forward, stretching the hip flexor right here. Some people have to stretch down further to get it. Some people just have to go a little bit to really feel that stretch. But all you're doing is basically lunging forward. You're just gonna hold that stretch for 60 seconds. If you're doing both sides, switch and do the other side. 60 seconds each side, do it twice a day, and you're all done. Questions? Let me know.